Welcome back to Area DMG. I'm your host, Will Wesley, the Mile High Mouth, or rather in this video, the Mile High Hustler. Today, um, I think May 14th, we went to a bunch of yard sales in Centennial, Lone Tree, couple community sales, pretty much just searching around through a lot, a lot of uh, yard sales. Actually, we spent about $19. Let me go over what we got. Um, real quick. Let's see. Started the day out with a uh, a dollar Sony CD player. This is a Discman ESP2. I haven't tested it yet to make sure it works, but most Sony Discmans, we get them nice and cheap, and they're in good shape, and they work. They're pretty easy money, especially on eBay. Um, we also got, at that same one, I picked up a... Um, this is a Shuma, sorry, it says Shuma Bodium Milk Frother, a battery operated milk frother. The reason I got one of these is because my um, sister has one that she uses for, uh, for, um, frappuccino, sorry, for frappuccino and lattes and other stuff. And I was like, oh, I love coffee and stuff, and it's good to have one of these myself. Good for, like, adding frothy milk to the top of a, uh, um, coffee and such, and we're keeping this. It's a Bodium Milk Frother. Whereas that, the uh, Discman is specifically for sales. At that same one, the guy gave me a bunch of free keychains. Um, they say, like, uh, mostly say Coca-Cola on them. And then a bunch of these sealed ones say Schweppes. And um, he get, I got a couple of those for free, just kind of threw them in with the uh, milk frother, and that was actually pretty useful. Those are just going to be for keys. Um, mainly keychains. I collect them. That type of thing. Then we ended up going and getting, well, it says $2 on this, but I talked them down to 1 and this is a 3D Conexion Spaceball 5000. Um, it's like a 3D mouse for 3D programs. I'm going to test and see if it works on games. And I might keep it or I might sell it. If I sell it, it's an easy like 30 or so. Let's see. We also got uh, a little bit um, after that one, we got, well, some free pot holders and an apron. Um, it says a dollar on this thing, but the lady just gave it to us. Which turns out the reason for this is because many of these um, pot holders are kind of dirty and stained. So we're going to probably throw some of those out. Although this glove is useful. And the apron that came with it we took out mainly because we weren't expecting... When we saw like this white thing, we weren't expecting this apron to be uh, this. It's a uh, sexy apron from um, Undercover Wear. Yep. <laughs> we got this for free. I was like, really? Okay then. That's uh, quite the interesting one that we got. Maybe we'll hold on to it. Maybe we'll sell it. Who knows? Um, the pot holders, we can definitely use that green one. Then I got for 50 cents. I love instruments. Yeah, 50 cent Old Town School of Folk Music ukulele. This does not look like your normal like first act stuff, so that's good. It is a folk music one and uh, I will probably have to restring this puppy. Yeah, this thing's going to need to be restringed. And I will take off that little pet shop sticker on it. But this should be fun. Love musical instruments. I'll restring that, tune it, and we'll see where we go from there. But yeah, that was 50 cents. I love getting musical instruments and it came with a case. <sighs> After that... We got this little item here, which was a, uh, this is an Elderol audio capture, USB interface, 
UA3. They wrap some useless cords around it, which I'm not going to do anything for. I'm probably I'm going to throw out those cords. But this is a USB audio capture mixer so that you can mix between like a guitar, a mic, and other items. One of the other garage sales we went to had a free bin in which I got this little magic portal for uh, Skylanders. Now, the Skylanders portals are have no real resale value except maybe you can get like a buck fifty to three dollars worth of store credit somewhere. Some places will give you more store credit for these because it still works on uh, some copies of Skylanders. We also got for a dollar fifty this board game called Outrage. Um, of course, we check to make sure everything's in it. Looks like everything is in it, and we got it for a buck fifty. We'll probably play that and check it out, see if it's any good. I love board games. And then, at one of the things, we talked someone down from, well, we got a bag of stuff. And this right here is actually the, uh, I would say, one of the better hauls of today. We paid $8, talked them down from 10 and, well, I'm going to move these out of the way before I show what this is. With this Coca-Cola keychain and this Sony Discman. Let's see. This would be a Game Boy Advance SP001. It works, needs to be charged. And it came with the charger, which we're going to charge. Oh, and at the same place where we got the Skylanders thing or so, I also got some uh, extra cords. This one's a splitter, which I might use for the new laptop. And this right here is the end cord for an Xbox controller. Many places people sell these by themselves because most of the time, if you go to a garage sale or a Goodwill or thrift, other types of thrift stores and get an Xbox controller, chances are it won't have this piece because for some bizarre reason they thought they'd make those segmented. Uh, that's Microsoft for you. Yeah, they wanted 10 and I talked them down to 8. And the big thing about it was there was a total of... Uh, there's some paper in there that I need to move out. What is up with that? There's a couple of uh, Game Boy Advance games in here. In fact, there are 15 Game Boy Advance games and I'm going to read off, whoop, just dropping them all over the place. I'm going to read exactly what they are. Now today we spent a total of $19 in, in actuality. $19 were all that stuff that I've shown so far. And uh, that's what we spent today. But yeah, 15 games and the Game Boy Advance SP. 001 with a charger for eight dollars came with a top spin 2 this two pack of fairly odd parents and a spongebob game crash bandicoot the huge adventure cars millipede super breakout and um, lunar lander on one cartridge batman begins crushed baseball monster truck madness Quad Desert Fury, 007 Nightfire, Spider-Man 2, Scooby-Doo 2, and then these last three here, which are kind of the creme de creme of this. Creme de la creme? Yeah. Mario Pinball Land, Super Mario Advance 4, Super Mario Brothers 3, and Mario Kart Super Circuit. Essentially, um, some of these games I have already. Some of these games I don't. So what we might do is take the ones that we have already and pop this and this charger up on eBay or whatnot for about 70, 80 bucks. Yeah, this by itself is worth about 30 to 40. Um, like the uh, Game Boy Advance SP's 101s are worth a lot more, but the originals are still worth still worthwhile. And you can actually buy a kit to put in a better screen if you want. But yeah, spend about, oh wait, there's one more item. 
and I paid a dollar for it. And it turned out like this is the thing that I got. I saw this and I was like, what is this? Well, turns out it's a Swarovski, Swarovski, Swarovski crystal. On the bottom, it says that this is actually um, goes for about fifty in their store. Swarovski. Here is a certificate of authenticity, a mirror which was not part of the original thing, which these people bought separately, and then this. I paid a dollar for this. And it has a certificate of authenticity. It's worth about 30, 40. Um, we're also throwing in this stand whenever we decide, if we decide to uh, sell it or whatnot. But yeah, that was one of the more, one of the later um, finds. We looked around at some thrift stores, but didn't really find anything substantial. But um, yeah, that was our haul for today. Paid, paid about $19 and, $19 and 0 cents and got, mm, I would say, easily about 200 bucks worth of stuff. Like, if we saw all this stuff at top dollar, about 200 bucks. And a free, um, naughty apron. Magical, naughty apron. But yeah. So, um, what do you think of our finds? Would you wear this? <laughs> um, got any of these games? What do you think of the uh, 3D controller? Some of the other stuff? Let me know in the comments below. Hit that thumbs up if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And until the next episode comes out, you are now caught up.